The majority of economists expect the RBA to lift interest rates this afternoon to 4.35%, which would be the highest level since November 2011. Joining me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, economists seem to believe that rates will go up. That was pretty different from yesterday. The money markets, though, are saying, hold. Yeah, look, money markets have actually changed as well in the last 24 hours. Yesterday, there was a 92% chance, according to the money markets. Now that's been paired back to just an 86% chance, which is still a pretty good chance that rates will be on hold today. But economists, they've been saying the same thing for the last week or so. They've been believing that the RBA still has a bit more, more to go. So roughly 60% of economists surveyed by Bloomberg do expect the cash rate will rise today. So it's going to be a pretty close call this afternoon by the Reserve Bank. We can just show you what interest rates have done since May 2022 last year when they began to rise. We've had 12 interest rate rises hitting our economy pretty hard. We've, our economy has started to slow down. If we go to the next page, we can see the monetary impact on average Australian with a mortgage if rates do go up today for a $500,000 loan. Another $76 in repayments, bringing the total monthly repayments to just over $3,500. For a million dollar loan, you're looking at almost $7,100 per month in repayments, and that's almost $2,400 more than you were paying for the same loan in just May last year. So this is going to be a big decision here. The Governor of the Reserve Bank, Philip Lowe, he's only got two cash rate decisions left today and next month, and then he hands over to the Deputy Governor, Michelle Bullock, who's going to take over from the 18th of September. So it's going to be um, an interesting statement as well from the Governor this afternoon, because we could also get some updated economic forecasts from the Reserve Bank, particularly around GDP growth, which we know is slowing down thanks to interest rates going up 4% in just 15 months. All right, the latest property data, really interesting as well. Property track shows Sydney and Melbourne's house price growth is slowing down. Yes, yeah, so this report is a monthly report. It came out this morning, because it is the 1st of August today, and basically it shows that property price growth in both major cities of Sydney and Melbourne is starting to taper off. So you can see in July, Sydney house prices increased 0.63%, but in August, they were up only half that rate at 0.28%. Melbourne, it's a similar sort of story, up almost 0.24% in July, only just creeping ahead 0.01% in August. So this is really a sign, Laura, of interest rates starting to have an impact on the property market, but also it's the fact that there's more stock coming onto the market as well. So buyers have more choice at the moment. They don't feel forced into buying a certain property because there's more there's more homes available. So those are two of the reasons why we're starting to see property price prices slow down. And they're probably going to stay at this sort of level until the cash rate starts to lower. As soon as the cash rate lowers, sellers are going to get more confidence and we're probably going to see property prices go up even more. Yeah, all right. A lot to take in this afternoon. Ed, thanks so much.